All right, go for it, bruh. Uh, we have a little trouble getting on the ramps. I can't talk. Oh shit! Nah, you're you're almost there, bro. Look at it. You're almost there. Just a few more. Uh, there you go. How was it? Yeah, it was good. Good. Got some maintenance to do on the Accord. Cabin air filter change and an oil change. Got this guy, this one. But yeah, we're gonna get into that. This was kind of overdue, so gotta get this done. First time being under the car since buying it. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. I kinda only wanna take 30 minutes on this, so. We got our uh, 17 millimeter. I think that's the size, but we'll find out right now. All right, so 17 was too small. We're guessing it's a 19. And um, that was too big. All right. This was a 16. Third time's the no, charm. Wait, hold on. It what? was wrong. It was Fuck. Wrong. Never mind. We had the 16 instead of the 17. All right, so 17. Yep, it is. It's a 17. For this oil change, I decided to use the Pennzoil Platinum High Mileage Full Synthetic um oil it's the 5w20 and for the filter i have the mobile one honestly i don't think mixing brands like for the filter and the oil matters much but uh because i've done that a lot and uh mobile one's a pretty good reputable company so it should be fine if you look in that corner you could see the oil filter um typically we drain the oil pan first and then take out the oil filter it looks like they used super tech for their oil filter i don't know how good that is but uh we're gonna replace that with a mobile one so we just drained uh, the oil pan and took off the oil filter the old one and now you know we're just uh tightening the oil pan bolt we didn't really film the process because most people know how to do the oil uh change and oil filter change but uh just kind of wanted to get a little update on the new car because maintenance is important to do before you start doing all that modification stuff so this is going to be the first maintenance day we've done on this car so one of my hood struts is uh, broken so we're using this wood piece thing to hold it up i don't know if that's a common issue with these cars when they get a little old but that's probably going to be another maintenance episode but for now let me just pour in the oil a little bit angled so i gotta be careful there we go perfect but yeah this oil change was pretty quick only took about 20 minutes or 30 but after this i gotta figure out how to do the cabin air filter and then we're good to go all right so for the cabin air filter you base or to change it you basically have to pinch the sides of these plastic um, walls and as you pinch it it falls down and it disconnects from here and then you can see the filter is right there so let's just take that out it's gonna be the moment of truth to see how dirty this thing is yo this is not good bro so this is the old one let's throw that dusty ass thing outside and then let's get the new one just for a quick comparison, that's the old one. This is the new one. Damn, that was much needed. All right, so let's just... Well, the cabin air filter didn't fit, so AutoZone basically lied to me, but we're gonna have to find a new filter to run um, so that I could change it, because you guys saw how filthy it was, but this is part one of the maintenance items that we're gonna take care of on the Accord. But I'll see you when we do some more. So it's dark right now, but we said that this was a cabin air filter, but I actually think it's an uh, air intake filter. So we're gonna check right now. So hopefully this is an actual uh, air intake filter because uh, it's a definitely not fitting in the cabin air filter area. So we'll see right now. All right, so this is the new one. See it right here. And then the old one. 
doesn't look too bad right here but then you see that it's pretty dusty so we're gonna change that out Oh shit! It's okay. Hold on, let's get that boy. This is the one bad thing about doing stuff in the dark, but I just got home from work, so. Like that? Just sits like that? Alright, it's in. 